Kyoto, the ancient capital of Japan, stands as a testament to time, unmatched in spiritual richness and historical significance. Its temples whisper tales of bygone eras, echoing through tranquil gardens and grand architectures. Once Japan's heart, Kyoto now pulses with the rhythm of countless temples. From golden pavilions to serene Zen gardens, the city's spiritual heritage is profound. This video will explore the best of it, showcasing the top 10 must-visit temples. Join us on this spiritual journey as we count down the top 10 must-visit temples in Kyoto. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have Kinkaku-ji, a Zen Buddhist temple that dazzles visitors with its golden beauty. Located in Kyoto's northern hills, this marvel is like a golden mirage that emerges from the lush greenery surrounding it. Its top two floors are entirely covered in gold leaf, a sight that is simply breathtaking. The temple mirrors itself in the serene pond below, creating a surreal landscape that mesmerizes all who visit. But it's not just about the gold. The temple is also steeped in history. Originally a retirement villa for the shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu, it was converted into a Zen temple after his death in the late 14th century. Today, it stands as a symbol of the extravagant Kitayama culture that flourished during Yoshimitsu's reign, Kinkaku-ji, a golden marvel that captivates with its sheer brilliance and tranquility. At number 9, we have the mesmerizing Fushimi Inari Taisha, a shrine like no other. This shrine, dating back to the 8th century, is dedicated to the Shinto god of rice, Inari. It's a place where spirituality and nature intertwine in the most fascinating way. Fushimi Inari Taisha is not just one shrine, but a complex of several shrines scattered across the base to the summit of Mount Inari. What sets it apart is the iconic pathway marked by thousands of vermilion tori gates. Each gate, large or small, has been donated by individuals or businesses seeking the god's blessings. This shrine is also home to countless stone fox statues, considered the messengers of Inari. They often hold a key in their mouths, symbolizing the key to the rice granary. Walking through the mystical Tori Gate pathway, you'll experience a sense of tranquility and fascination that's hard to put into words. Fushimi Inari Taisha a shrine that guides you on a spiritual journey through its thousands of Tori gates. Number 8 on our list is Kiyomizudera, a temple that offers breathtaking views of Kyoto. Nestled in the eastern hills, this temple is a testament to Japan's architectural prowess. Its wooden stage, constructed entirely without the use of nails, juts out from the main hall, providing a stunning view of cherry and maple trees and the cityscape of Kyoto beyond. The history of Kiyomizudera is as captivating as its view. Founded in the late 7th century, the temple takes its name from the Otawa waterfall running through the grounds. Kiyomizu means pure water. This temple is dedicated to the goddess of mercy and compassion canon. Visitors often partake in the ritual of drinking the waterfall's sacred waters believed to confer health, longevity, and success in studies. Whether you're a history buff, a nature lover, or simply seeking a moment of tranquility, Kiyomizu Dera captivates with its rich past, stunning vistas, and serene ambiance. Kiyomizu Dera, a temple that enchants with its stunning vistas, and serene ambiance. Coming in at number seven is Ginkakuji, an epitome of elegance and tranquility. Nestled in Kyoto's eastern mountains, this Zen temple is a testament to the sublime beauty of simplicity. Originally built in the late 15th century as a retirement villa for Shogun Ashikaga Yoshimasa, Ginkakuji, also known as the Silver Pavilion, was later transformed into a Zen temple after his death. Its unique features include a beautifully manicured dry sand garden, known as the Sea of Silver Sand and the Moon Viewing Platform, which symbolizes Mount Fuji. But don't let the name fool you. Despite its moniker, the Silver Pavilion isn't covered in silver. 
Instead, it boasts an unadorned wooden exterior that beautifully ages with time, further enhancing its serene ambiance. The temple encapsulates the Japanese aesthetic of wabi-sabi, the art of finding beauty in imperfection and transience. It's a place where one can truly experience the quiet elegance of Zen. Ginkakuji, a Zen temple where elegance and tranquility reside. At number six, we have Ryoanji, a temple that invites you to delve into the mysteries of Zen minimalism. A sanctuary of tranquility, Ryoanji is renowned for its rock garden, a riddle wrapped in an enigma. The garden is an abstract composition of 15 stones arranged in such a way that no matter where you stand, you can only see 14. It's a puzzle that has intrigued visitors for centuries, a riddle without a definitive answer. Founded in the late 15th century, Ryoanji has been a cornerstone of Kyoto's spiritual landscape. It's a place that encourages introspection and contemplation. The temple grounds also feature a serene water garden and a tea house, designed to evoke the simplicity and natural beauty of Zen aesthetics. Ryoanji, a destination that invites you to pause, reflect, and engage with the enigmatic. A place where less is indeed more, and where the unseen 15th stone is a metaphor for life's hidden mysteries. Ryoanji, a temple that whispers the essence of Zen through its rock garden. Number five on our list is Tofukuji, a temple that showcases the vibrant colors of Kyoto's seasons. This majestic Zen temple is one of Kyoto's largest and is especially famed for its spectacular display of autumn colors. But Tofukuji is not just a feast for the eyes. It's a place where history, culture, and spirituality meld into a harmonious whole. Established in the 13th century, Tofukuji has stood the test of time, witnessing the ebb and flow of seasons for nearly eight centuries. Its name, meaning Temple of Wealth and Happiness, is a testament to its significance in Japanese Zen Buddhism. The temple's main attraction is the classic Zen garden, framed by fiery maple trees in the fall. The garden's design reflects Zen principles, encouraging contemplation and tranquility. Four distinct gardens surround the Hojo, the head priest's former living quarters, each with its unique style and symbolism. Tofuku-ji, a Zen temple where the beauty of nature and spirituality intertwine. Coming in at number four is Nanzenji, a temple that stands as a beacon of Zen Buddhism. Established in the late 13th century, Nanzenji has a rich history that's as captivating as its architectural marvels. This temple complex is a sprawling oasis of tranquility, nestled in the heart of bustling Kyoto. The temple's significance is deeply rooted in its role as a center of Zen Buddhism. Here, the air seems to hum with the echoes of ancient chants, drawing you into a profound spiritual experience. But it's not just about Zen. Nanzenji also boasts an intriguing aqueduct, a testament to Japan's Meiji era that peacefully coexists with the ancient temple structure. Then there are the sub-temples, each one a world unto itself, offering a unique journey into Zen philosophy. From the vibrant foliage that paints the temple grounds to the tranquil rock gardens, Nanzenji is a temple that offers something for everyone. Nanzenji, a spiritual refuge that continues to illuminate the path of Zen. Number three on our list is Enryakuji, a temple that has significantly shaped Japanese Buddhism. Nestled on the sacred Mount Hiei, Enryakuji is more than just a temple. It's an entire complex that has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its historical significance is immense, as it's the headquarters for the Tendai sect of Buddhism. Founded 
In the late 8th century by Saicho, the revered monk who introduced Tendai Buddhism to Japan, and Ryaku-ji has been a beacon of spiritual enlightenment for over a millennium. Its sprawling grounds house a multitude of buildings, each holding its unique charm and history. Notable among these is the Konponchudo Hall, considered the heart of the temple, where an eternal flame, said to have been burning since the temple's foundation, flickers. Enryakuji is not just a journey to a temple, it's a journey back in time, echoing the profound teachings of Buddhism across centuries. Enryakuji, a temple that echoes the profound teachings of Buddhism across centuries. Um, at number two, we have Daigoji, a temple that celebrates the beauty of seasons in its vast grounds. Daigoji, a Shingon Buddhist temple complex tucked away in the southeast of Kyoto, is a paradise where nature and spirituality entwine beautifully. Established in the early Heian period, around the 9th century, Daigoji is renowned for its expansive grounds sprawling over an entire mountainside. The temple has a rich history and it played a pivotal role in the development of Japanese Buddhism. It's home to numerous buildings and structures of cultural significance, some of which are registered as national treasures. But what truly sets Daigoji apart is its enchanting display of seasonal beauty. From the cherry blossoms that carpet the complex in a sea of pink in spring, to the vibrant fall colors that set the temple grounds ablaze, Daigoji offers a unique spectacle for every season. Daigoji, a temple where the seasons paint their beautiful colors on the canvas of spirituality. And finally, at number one, we have Sanju Sangendo, a temple that is both awe-inspiring and spiritually moving. Now, this isn't just any temple. Sanju Sangendo, which literally translates to hall with 33 spaces between columns, holds the record for being the world's longest wooden structure. But what truly sets it apart is the sight that greets you inside. Imagine being surrounded by 1001 statues of Canon, the goddess of mercy, each meticulously carved and steeped in history. These life-size statues made of Japanese cypress clad in gold leaf stand in perfect rows, creating a sight that leaves you in a state of reverence and wonder. Each statue is unique with its own facial expression and posture. And at the centerpiece is a mammoth statue of Canon, a testament to the temple's devotion to the goddess of mercy. Sanju Sangendo, a temple where spirituality takes the form of 1001 statues of Canon, creating an experience that captivates the heart and soul. And there you have it, the top 10 must-visit temples in Kyoto. From the golden brilliance of Kinkakuji to the spiritual pathway of Fushimi Inari Taisha, and the awe-inspiring statues in Sanju Sangendo, each temple offers a unique peek into Japan's rich spiritual and architectural heritage. These are not just temples, but living narratives of history, culture, and spirituality, each with a story to tell. So next time you're in Kyoto, make sure to visit these temples and experience their spiritual richness and historical significance for yourself.